Good morning, TK. I'm Christina Flo. And I'm Georgia Belperio. And, and you're watching King TV. And uh, Georgia? Yeah. You know that it's January and not Christmas anymore, right? Oh, you're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of the new year, let's check out some of our students' New Year's resolutions. Good morning, TJ. My name is Will Pritchard, and today I'm going around school to see what people's New Year's resolutions are. My name is Miss Bass. My New Year's resolution is to bake more. My New Year's resolution is to grow my mold out. My New Year's resolution is to be better at Fortnite. To work out more. My New Year's resolution is to get a 3.0 GPA. Bro. Right, uh, my New Year's resolution would be uh, don't fail school, of course, uh, get into university and be happy. My New Year's resolution is to get swole. My New Year's resolution is to get better grades. Miss Press more than Will Pritchard. My New Year's resolution is to beat Carlos' 365-pound bench with a 385-pound bench uh, at the end of the semester. Did you hear that? My New Year's resolution is I don't have a New Year's resolution because realistically, a lot of people don't keep their New Year's resolutions. This has been Will Pritchard reporting for Kings TV. Thank you, Will. Christina, do you have some resolutions for this new year? I'm working hard to improve my athletic performances, just like the cheer team is doing. Yeah, congratulations to the Com Cheer team for winning nationals. Let's hear what they're up to. Good morning, TK. Our competition cheer team recently won a national championship. Let's sit down with some of our athletes to find out more about how their experience went. The best part about cheering the senior season is just making memories with my team. Uh, we have a really great time together. The best memory that we've had this year is just always going to FCC. It's a really fun environment and we always bring home some hardware. So. The best part about being a TKA cheerleader is that I get to cheer alongside my teammates that I go to school with. So Some of my worst days have turned into some of my best days because I get to go to practice and see the people I go to school with. Leading up to States these next two weeks, um, our theme is do everything until you can't get it wrong and I feel like that's just something that's going to push us um, for a state championship. Me and the two other senior girls, Allie and Gianna, are the only people on the team who have the state title from 2019 so I really want to bring the state title to the underclassmen and the boys before I graduate so they can experience the feeling of all of their hard work paying off. I want to leave a legacy of hard work, dedication and care for my teammates and just to have a passion for cheerleading and just a drive to win. Being on the cheer team, it's impacted me a ton, being a better leader. Um, being one of the only males on the team, it's, it's rough sometimes, and it just makes you grow as a person. So Jen and Kyler have taught me the importance of being all in, um, the importance of accountability, communication, and making sacrifices to help the team achieve one common goal. Them being there for me the past six years has definitely like shaped me into who I am today. Thank you, Christian, and again, congratulations to the Comp Cheer team for this big achievement. Now that we've talked about sports, let's move to a more academic event that just took place. Of course, we're talking about National History Day. Let's hear more about it. So, NHD, or National History Day, is an international competition where students conduct independent research or research in a group on a topic that they choose that fits with the theme, and they also get to choose what topic um, they present and how they present it. So that you can produce a documentary, a website, an exhibit board that you can see behind me, you can write a historical paper, you could even do a performance. Um, and it allows the students to showcase what they're good at and shine in areas where they are gifted. And it's fun watching the research process happen all first semester and see what the students finally produce that you saw at the NHD fair. I'm Augie Aronson. I'm Anthony Furtado, and we did the Ford Pinto. The gas tank was placed in the rear, so like if you got an accident from the rear, it would push into the drive shaft, and the car would either catch on fire or explode, so it was dangerous. My name is Kyla Ann Faircloth, and I did an exhibit board. My topic was the Armenian Genocide, which was a mass killing of Armenians caused by them revolting for an independent state, and since they were Christians, Turkey decided to murder a bunch of them because they wanted to create a Muslim society. I chose this topic because it was something I was interested in and I want to be able to show how important human life is and how to respect it. Uh, my name is Ruby and I wrote a paper. Uh, my project's about the atomic bomb and its influence with debate and diplomacy both before leading up to it during World War II and after with the Cold War. 
it was a lot of work, I'll be honest, but I feel like it was worth it. I'm proud of what I made for it, at least. So this is the fifth year that Kings has participated in the National History Day competition. We started my first year, um, and it's been fun to watch the research initiative grow and see students be more successful. And this was the hardest year we've ever had to make decisions about what topics to choose because so many projects were done incredibly well. So we're very proud of everything the history students produced this year. Thank you, Maya, and congratulations to all the winners. One last thing, don't forget to purchase your ticket for Romeo and Juliet. Tonight at 7 or tomorrow at 1 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Well, I think that's all we have for today. Have a great day, TKA!